Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, how many two digit numbers can you make using the digits 5, 6, 7 and 8 without repeating the digits? So what is the given question? We are having four digits 5, 6, 7 and 8. So out of these four digits, how many two digit numbers you will be able to make? So 56 is one two digit number, 67 then 57. 68 and likewise it goes on. So totally how many two digit numbers can be formed by using these four digits 5, 6, 7 and 8. So whether when we are taking 5 first followed by 6 we will be getting 56. Suppose we are taking 6 first followed by 5 we will be getting 65. 56 is different from that of 65. So arrangement does matter. So this is a form of permutation. So whenever arrangement matters, you have to take permutation. When arrangement does not matter and just selection is required, it is a case of combination. So here you have to apply the formula for permutation. So totally there are four numbers and you have to select or you have to arrange two numbers at a time. So your answer will be 4P2. So number of such arrangements possible or number of such two digit numbers possible will be equal to 4P2. So there are totally four digits and you are arranging two digits at a time. So 4P2 will be giving you the total number. So 4P2 means what is the formula? We know that NPR is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. So, for P2 you will be getting 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 2 factorial which gives you 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial. So, it is equal to 4 into 3 into 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial which will be giving you 12. So, there are 4 sorry there are 12 2 digit numbers which can be formed by using the numbers 5, 6, 7 and 8. Suppose the question was you have to make four digit numbers using all these four digits 5, 6, 7 and 8. Then what will be your answer? Number of ways in which n objects can be arranged will be given by n factorial. So there your answer will be 4P4 which will be equal to 4 factorial. So there will be 4 factorial, 4 digit numbers possible when you are using all the four digits 5, 6, 7 and 8. Eight. So let's go to second question. How many three letter words can we make with the letters in the word love? So there are four letters L, O, V and E and how many three letter words you will be able to make from this word love? With or without meaning. So here meaning has no importance. The question is how many three letter words you can make L O V is one example O V E or L V E likewise it goes on. So here also there are totally four letters and you are taking or you are arranging three letters at a time. So this is also an arrangement so you have to consider the formula for permutation. So 4 P 3 your answer will be 4 P 3 there are four letters and you are arranging three letters at a time. So 4P3 will be giving you the total number of three letter words possible. So 4P3 means what is the formula? You know NPR is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. So 4P3 will be giving you 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 3 factorial. 4 minus 3 factorial is equal to 1 factorial which gives you 1. So your answer will be 4 factorial which is equal to 4 into 3 into 2 which gives you 24. So there are 24 three letter words possible from the word love. Next question in how many ways can the letters of the word master be rearranged so that the relative position of the vowels and consonants remain the same as in the word master. So what is the given question we are having a word master and you can rearrange the letters of the word but the relative position of the vowels and consonants should remain same. So what do you mean by the relative position of the consonants and vowels? So let's name the positions. This is position number 1, 2, then 3, 4, 5, 
and 6 so vowels are occupying positions 2 and 5 we are having a and e are the vowels and these vowels are occupying the positions 2 and 5 and consonants are occupying the remaining positions 1 3 4 and 6 even when you rearrange the letters the positions 2 and 5 should be occupied only by vowels this a and e can change e can come here and a can come here there is no problem for that but the positions 2 and 5 should be occupied only by vowels same way the positions 1 3 4 and 6 should be occupied by consonants only that is the meaning of the question the relative position of the vowels and consonants should remain the same even when you are rearranging the words the relative position of the vowels and consonants should remain the same that means in positions 2 and 5 vowels should come and in positions 1 3 4 and 6 consonants should come even when you rearrange then how many ways you can rearrange here so here you are having two positions second position and fifth position for vowels and how many ways you can rearrange them there are two positions there are two vowels so you can rearrange in two factorial ways so vowels can be rearranged in two factorial ways which gives you two factorial is equal to 2 then how many ways consonants can be rearranged how many consonants are there you are having m s t and r there are four consonants and there are four positions possible so consonants can be rearranged in four factorial ways so which is equal to 4 into 3 into 2 which gives you 24 so total number of arrangements possible will be equal to you have to multiply both so number of ways in which vowels can be arranged multiplied by number of ways in which consonants can be arranged which gives you 2 into 24 is equal to 48 so there are 48 arrangements possible so that the relative position of the vowels and consonants remain the same so here what you are doing is that you are finding out the number of arrangements possible for vowels separately and number of arrangements possible for consonants separately then you can multiply both in order to find out the total number of arrangements possible for the whole word next question how many words can be formed by rearranging the letters of the word holy day such that h and y occupy the first and last positions respectively so word is given holy day and you are asked to rearrange the letters of the word holy day but the condition is that the first letter and the last letter remain as such the first letter is h and the last letter is y there will not be any change in the new words formed so what are the different words possible so suppose for example this is one word h l i o a y so likewise you can rearrange the letters in between h and y but h and y should remain constant as such so how many different arrangements will be possible you can rearrange these five letters only so these five letters can be rearranged in how many ways n objects can be arranged in n factorial ways so five letters can be arranged in five factorial ways what is five factorial 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 which gives you 120 so there are 120 words possible the key to solving these kind of questions is that you have to understand the question first so here it is given h and y should remain constant so the remain the in between letters you can rotate in any way as you like so there are five letters and these five letters can be arranged in five factorial ways so the total number of words possible will be five factorial which is 120 thank you for watching